Hi, Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. Uh, this is an intro to a, a video you're about to see that was, uh, what? Well, it's weird because we the, the video is the part two of yesterday, and I filmed it yesterday. I mean, and, and today is tomorrow from yesterday. Well, I'm wearing a different shirt. They're, they're gonna know. We're not fooling anyone. It's like in uh, Avengers or one of those movies where they're doing stuff in front of the green screen. They're not really there doing the action the way it, it looks like it's supposed to. No, I'm not saying we should use a green screen. I mean, this is real. We don't need a green screen for this. I'm just saying it's like it's weird because it's not. You know what I'm saying? Today, we're going to keep going with part two of our packaging applications with Intune. And we're going to look at multi-file uh, MSI based installations and how to orchestrate those with an install script. I, I, look, I'm just saying they're going to know. I mean, it was film, you know, whatever. That's movie magic. Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. All right, the second type of app I'm gonna show you today is one that consists of multiple installers. All right, an app that I always see become a problem is AnyConnect installing. And that's because AnyConnect is never just AnyConnect. There's a whole bunch of things inside of it. So in this case, I have a profiles folder um, with different things for the VPN, umbrella. I have my installer, so I have Cisco. I have any connect umbrella pre-deploy. I have the core VPN, I have Dart, and I'm not 100% sure what these things do, but I know I've packaged them quite a bit. So how do I install all these? Well, you do have some options. I could build each one into a package, but now I have three packages for one app. I'd rather just keep them all together. So in this case, what I did is I have my AnyConnect hierarchy folder and inside of it, I have an install.ps1, okay? So what's gonna be in that install.ps1? Okay, well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna delete it and we're gonna start over together. So I'm gonna say a new text file, install.ps1, because you can write a PowerShell script to run all of your installs. So let's go ahead and open that up with code. Okay, so what I want to do is, in this case, this is a real customer situation. They wanted everything installed, everything to install from the local path. All right, so the first thing we have to do is create the local path, and this was called C, uh, let's, uh, C installer. Okay. Um, and what we'll do there is we'll say if the test path for local path comes back that it's not there, we can simply make the director. All right, so now it'll be there unless we, you know, and if it's already been put there by another app, great. Uh, so we're gonna copy everything over. So we're gonna copy item. So remember, we wanna copy all these files from this install folder here, our profiles included, because we're gonna need them uh, when we launch different things. So all our MSIs, our profiles, so we're gonna do copy item uh path and we're going to go from the root of the script right so we're going to do ps script ps script root and we're going to point to that folder any connect install and the destination is going to be local path and that'll be a recurse and a force so that'll take everything inside of there and, th and throw it in for me all right, so now we have to install everything. Because we're copying it over, it might not be a bad idea to give it a quick start sleep of like three seconds just to make sure everything copied. And then we're going to install the core VPN MSI. We're gonna install uh, the Dart MSI and we're gonna install Umbrella. So we're gonna have three different areas here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a start process. And this is the long way to do it, but it kind of guarantees PowerShell won't get tripped up uh, with Intune. MSI X, argument list. So it's gonna be install, and we're gonna point to the path. And that's gonna be local path. Any connect install and then we just need to know what those msis are called so let's go look so this is the core vpn one and 
little sigh, okay. We're gonna give that a QB, the restart. And we're all set. Notice we have the wait, so it's not gonna proceed with the next one until it's finished. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing basically for each MSI. And if you had transforms or anything, you can put it there too. I mean, whatever your arguments are for each one is absolutely fine. So now I have that. I should be good to go. Um, and in the process, the profiles are gonna to have to be on the device, but remember they're coming over because of any connect install. So that later, if I need to locate something, it'll be local path, any connect install profiles, you know, whatever. So let's go ahead and package that up. And I'm going to run as administrator. Uh, my, the file I'm pointing to, they have a few options here. Uh, you can point to one of the MSIs. In this case, I'm not, I'm pointing to the install PS1. And I'm gonna kind of run this like an executable where I'm gonna have to do my own discovery work. And actually, that's not a bad point. Why don't we fire the Windows Sandbox back up? Get all my install lines and everything together. I'm gonna make it bigger this time. That was, that was hard to see a little bit. Okay, so I want this folder in the Sandbox. And when you're testing these, you know, ju just like with PowerShell and Intune, you're gonna run the same command as if you were once you're in the directory, as if you were in into. So we're in that directory. We're going to go PowerShell, exe, execution, policy, bypass. Uh, we're going to do install.ps1. And let's see what happens. We should have all the AnyConnect installers going. Yeah, we could already see it starting up. There's Dart, there's the AnyConnect client. So we're in good shape. And uh, okay, so I have my, just like before, right? I have my install command. So I'm gonna put that here. Now for uninstall, it's really gonna be up to you. In a case like this, there's a lot of apps here. So you can either write your own script. Uh, we can do the same method that we did before. Um, so I'm gonna do the registry trick in this case. Uh, local machine, software, let's speed this up. Microsoft, Windows, current version, uninstall. And let's see if we can find it here. Okay, so in this case, I don't see it. So this is probably a good opportunity to check the other node. Microsoft Windows, current version, uninstall. Oh, there it is. Whoop, there it is, secure mobility client. So I can just use the uninstall string here, grab that and throw that in my notes. That's my uninstall string. Now, oh, you see, cause it was in the x86 folder. That's why it was in the other node. Now, as far as detection, um, I kind of got my answer there. Uninstall string will always point you in that direction, but let's head over there. Cisco, any connect. I'm going to specifically look for, I mean, you can honestly pick from any of these executables. I'll pick the VPN downloader. Uh, for those who actually use Cisco, you know, feel free to let me know what the actual answer is here. But again, you're just looking for something to show that it's on the device. So of course, we're gonna go do the same thing. We're going to add a Win32 app, select the app package file, desktop, any connect, install. So Cisco, any connect, call it bundle. And I'll put uh, core VPN, Dart, and umbrella under the description by Cisco. Uh, this time we'll grab the image on Google. Any connect icon, save image as pictures. Why not? 
pictures. There it is. Okay. And we're just going to put our values in, right? Same as before. So install, uninstall, and detection. Manual, file, and we're going to grab that whole path and we are going to again we're going to put the executable on its own line file or folder exists and then we create the app all right so there you go we were able to take uh, multiple application installs and uh instead of you know doing any kind of dependency or multiple engine packages we we're able to get them into one simple package with a script that orchestrates the install hopefully makes life a little bit easier for us so uh yeah let me know what your thoughts are it seems like everyone liked the one from yesterday with the executables obviously there's a lot more to talk about with that packaging including moving on to some more complex stuff on the mac side so we'll get there soon but we'll be seeing you